Blessed love, we do give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life. You are with me, aren't you? Oh, yes, give thanks. Emperor Haile Selassie the first. Just viewing the coronation, the 2nd of November, 1930, where you see the emperor, Emperor Haile Selassie the first, coronated there, even in St. George's Cathedral there in Addis Ababa. And right coming behind him, you see the Honorable Empress Menin. It is the coronation of the emperor and the empress, and we cannot lose sight of that at all. Even now we are going into the 90th anniversary of this mighty and grand you know, celebration and this mighty and grand coronation of the king and queen of the emperor and the empress of Ethiopia, Emperor Haile Selassie the first and Empress Menin. And it is at this time, you know, we will be, of course, you know, having our wonderful online lecture. So what we're doing this evening, my brothers and sisters who are joining me, we are really having an update. This is an update now. This program is an update as it relates to our lecture, which will be tomorrow evening. That is the 1st of November. 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time, 7 p.m. sharp. Of course, you know, this will be officially our second online lecture. And I'm hoping that everyone now, well, it can't be everyone, but I'm hoping you, that you have already received your, your ticket. And um, of course, before the program, you will be getting your entrance key. We'll be having a very special um, uh, offer to all those who will be in the house, as you know, those who are subscribers to the shock of the hour, for sure, they will be naturally, you know, given their ticket to enter into the lecture hall. But for those who are just, you know, purchasing your ticket, you will be getting two weeks, well, they call them weeks, we call them strong. So you'll be getting two strongs worth of the radio program, our radio program, the shock of the hour. So you will be in the lecture, the lecture hall on Sunday evening and Monday evening, you'll be getting the Monday evening's shock of the hour radio program. You'll be getting the Tuesday evening's shock of the hour radio program. You'll be getting the Wednesday evening shock of the hour radio program. Hey, is you, you are going to have to be the one to say, well, uh, priest, I am thankful for the offer, but I don't need all of that. Well, it's up to you, but for sure, once it's something that you will take, once you buy your ticket, those who have already bought your ticket, because don't worry, it's not something we're just offering now. Once you already have your ticket, listen, once you are in the lecture hall tomorrow evening, the 1st of November, uh, Sunday, the 1st of November, you may be seeing this video Sunday morning or the afternoon. Well, it would be this evening, the 1st of November, 2020. Once you are in the lecture hall, you'll be getting two strands. Uh, of the shock of the hour radio program, something that I know you will be delighted in. So I'm just saying, eh, um, this is a two hour lecture. As I said, this little program we're doing here is an update. Eh? Let me make it clear. This is an update of um, the lecture, the online lecture, and I'm giving you an idea of exactly where we will be going. We will be going on different levels, as you could see. We had some programs leading up to our lecture, directly dealing with the cycle of the womb, you see, directly dealing with certain aspects of the woman. Um, uh, we dealt with the whole high yield issue as well, and, and, and the Willie Lynch letters directly dealing with the breaking of the woman. You know, everything is leading in to our lecture this Sunday, Rastafari and the woman. Don't let the title somewhat maybe, you know, mislead you. It's not like Rastafari and how they deal with the woman, eh? No, maybe a touch of that will be sprinkled in the pot. But we'll be talking about layers of um, topics and subject areas, different things. As you could see, we're highlighting, you know, what is considered by some up to now, the oldest specimen of a human being. It's a woman. We're talking about the Ignish. We're talking about Lucy, 
of course, found in the ancient you know, continent of Africa, of course, found in Mother Ethiopia herself, you know, the woman, you, you know, the ancient concept of Ma'at, look at Ma'at there. You know, just the other day, I was listening to some brothers on the radio program, on the, on the radio, I should say, on their, you know, the talk programs, and they were speaking about justice, and they were speaking of how, you know, the system of justice, that the, the justice woman, Lady Justice, is supposed to have that, that bandana thing wrapped around her eyes, you know, meaning that justice is blind. And they were saying, but justice around here is not blind. And they were saying that in the sense that, that they believe that that concept, because the concept of justice being blind means that justice is not supposed to discriminate them. You know, justice is not supposed to see who she's dealing with. She's just dealing with the right. Now you see that's if justice don't have no morals, you know, but of the original lady justice, the original woman justice, the black woman, the ma'at, she didn't have nothing over her eyes. And she could meet it out justice and look at her scales. They're not lopsided and one-sided, they're balanced, you know. And if you notice, know it's, it's um, the band around her head. The ban is around her head. In the, the European justice system, the ban came down and covered the eyes. So our justice is not blind. You know, it can see. So it can make a good decision and, you know, make a good judgment. And that is an ancient balance again when it comes to, you know, the understanding of, of, of the woman in that sense being seen as the justice figure and so as i said you know tomorrow evening we'll be going to many different you know angles on it of course we'll be highlighting the science as it relates to yes the uterus and the black hole you know the science of the black hole and creation itself understanding that this is another concept that has been kept from us for a, for a long time the concept of the christ and and the mother of christ you know being of you know ethiopian black origin and this is a european rendition of it because even in europe not just in christianity um, zeus and all these original gods were black you know you you hear about the the first set of greek philosophers that invented these greek gods they borrowed them from ancient africa from ancient kemet these gods in Greek, in Greece would go and dine with the gods in Ethiopia. The gods in Greece would worship the gods in Ethiopia, you know, and the first set of them were black. So even the, the Madonna and the child, I'm sure you've seen the pictures of the popes, several popes sometimes, even two of them together, when Raxinger and, um, and the one that's there now, the both of them went and knelt down before a similar painting just like this. You know, so when you understand that science again of the, 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 the black woman, the mother of creation, the mother of Christ. So as I said, there are many different aspects historically. You know, we'll be going into some, some, some history that I think that even if you come into the halls, not because it's 7 p.m. in the evening, make sure you walk with the young ones as well. You know, this is definitely going to be a pen and a paper moment. You know, giving you some information, dropping some stats that I don't think, you know, we hear on a regular on the mainstream. Plus, it's going to be a scientific lecture as well. I already explained. We'll be going into the whole aspect of the, the science of the womb of the woman in creation as it relates to the black hole. Something we've touched upon before, but we, we intend to break it down a little more, you know, I mean, scientifically for the audience at that time. And then, of course, We'll be touching upon, you know, as I said, uh, historical level, theological level, that will be very important to the discussion tomorrow evening, the whole theology. And we're going to use astronomy as well in defining our theological outlook on, 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 as it relates to the woman. When I say theology, eh, of course, you'd hear ones argue about the Trinity and the woman in the Trinity and all of that. So we'll be going into that level as well. And, and let us make man and but we're not just speaking from an emotional 
point of view here. Eh? This is a scholarly lecture that we're having. I just wanted to be clear. I know sometimes we hear these subject areas and emotion kicking. Nothing wrong here. In emotion, you are alive, but it's not emotion we're coming with. You know, we're just bringing some stats and just showing you how things fit and how things were removed and all of these different things. Queen Tai, give thanks for such great Queen Tai. This also is um, considered to be the, the, what preceded even the Black Madonna and Child, the Aset and the Heru. Uh, also known as the Isis and the Horus. So even on that level, we can see that being fulfilled. So as I said, my brothers and sisters, we are speaking of tomorrow evening. If you're seeing this on Sunday, we're speaking of this evening, the 1st of November, 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. As you know, the admission only 20 United States dollars currency, the cash app. The cash app is, you know, the more preferred way that we ask for the payment, but don't worry if you do not have access to the Cash App, you could just contact us uh, via the email and we would uh, show you exactly what other alternative means and ways are there for you that you could make that transaction. Priest Isaac 27 at gmail.com. But of course, remember the Cash App is Aton Rap. 2723 that's a-t-o-n-r-a-2723 and we ask again even when you email us at the same time it is very important or even when you send the cash up i should say even when you send the cash up it is important that you also email us as well to, to show that you made that transaction. Of course, we will see it through the Cash App, yes. But as I said before, sometimes the name given for the Cash App information is not necessarily the, the, the email address for the individual. So we would like to make sure we make that synchronization very, very important. No PayPal for the moment, that's very important as well. But as I said, any, 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 uh, any queries you may have, just email us and that will be definitely set out. And of course, you see our great mother here. Oh, even before we touch our great mother, remember again, eh? of course, once you are a subscriber to the Shock of the Hour, you definitely will be a part of this event and all the events that we do. But if you're not a subscriber, once you are in the hall that evening, so even the subscribers, you know, I mean, we have some eternal subscribers, let me tell you that. But the monthly, like the monthly and a person who may have just joined the subscription team, you as well eh, will be getting the two extra strongs of the shock of the hour. So don't worry at all. But once you purchase your, 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 your ticket, your electronic ticket to enter uh, on Sunday evening, the 1st of November, you will get the two strongs after that shock of the hour radio program sent to your email address every single evening. So, hey, so if you subscribe to the Shock of the Hour then, and you get the, for example, you take a month's worth of the Shock of the Hour, which comes with a lot of other benefits, all the reading material, the videos, all of that comes with it. So once you subscribe to one Shock of the Hour and you get this entrance fee for Sunday evening, you will still get the two extra Shock of the Hour on that. So, I mean, come on now. It's love we're sharing here, definitely. So as I said, this is an update. We are just updating the family on the, the event tomorrow evening for those who are concerned, those who definitely looking forward to joining us. This is a big, big, big event. So we said we would do this video and at least take some time out to speak on the event itself, give it its own time and space. So ones could understand where we are going, just highlighting the great mother there. Sister Harriet Tubman, as I said, there are many other great mothers that are there to highlight and, you know, get into the, the fire we spoke of, Winnie Maddie Kizela. To be honest, I think my favorite in this modern time, eh? Maddie Kizela, I'm telling you. And of course, you know, there you see the mighty prophet Marcus Messiah Garvey with his two Amy's even at that time. So we, we are very thankful for those who are already there with us. As I said, this is more the celebration of the coronation of the emperor and the empress. So that is the science there with, uh, with an understanding. There you see the great Akhenaten and, 
and Nefertiti and, and daughters there, you know, me touched by the rays of Atan. Yeah, there is the Atan Ra, for sure. Atan is Ra, believe me. So just a science because you see the serpent at the front looking forward. It's on Ra, you see it from a side view, and the serpent you see it from a side angle. So Atan is Ra. I mean, the two of them is the sun, eh? so it's the same thing. So we give thanks for Atan Ra. <laughs> Yeah, and you see the family there, Nefertiti, and the blessed Akhenaten. You know, he that is severely misunderstood, I could tell you that for sure. What an individual definitely misunderstood. I'm speaking of the great Akhenaten. So we are celebrating, as we said before, it is the coronation, the 90th anniversary coronation of Nikos Haile Selassie the first, yes. We always speak of that and align that with prophecy and history. But according to my understanding and my knowledge, in Ethiopia prior to this, the emperor would have been crowned like three days prior to the empress. And, uh, and then she would have been crowned, not in the coronation hall, but uh, I think in a less illustrious environment and, and given Unless, um, you know what I mean? Well, I guess illustrious coronation. But at this time, the balance was, you know, regained or revived as many things as it relates to Haile Selassie I. Many, many, many things. We can go even when it comes to the Orthodox Church and their sovereignty. And there's so many things. You know, you can put religion aside and just discuss the, the, the discuss the, 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 the science that surrounded Ethiopia, surrounded history, surrounded the time frame. You can you, you could carry the discussion as far back as you know slavery it goes far back as agency. Uh, uh, you can go into to the to history that is solidified history and come right up to Haile Selassie the first and then take his time amongst us and just all that was done. You don't have to get religious, just a real honest conversation and discussion. Yeah, man, you have a mighty, mighty, mighty. I was listening to an Orthodox, Orthodox, um, 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 you know, priest the other day speaking of the church and he was trying his best to distinguish, you know, himself from Rastafari, you know, to distinguish himself from from you know Rasta Manden. But of course, in so doing, he had to bring in the emperor. And and then, you know, he had to show that, well, you know, he Haile Selassie was an Orthodox Christian and you know the whole works. And he brought the Christian church to Jamaica. He was in Jamaica, you know, to show the Rasta Manden this is the truth. And there are many different things he was saying. Everybody has their own opinion. That's what they may think of it. But when he speaks of the emperor and he says, well, you know, it was under the emperor Haile Selassie that we regained our sovereignty, you know, and it was under the emperor Haile Selassie the first, we had our first Abuna, Abuna Basilis. And then he goes under the emperor Haile Selassie the first, the church gathered all the churches together. together. And, you know, it was Haile Selassie the first who became the defender of the faith. And then he comes with something else, Haile Selassie the first. And if it wasn't for Haile Selassie the first, and bishops started to get paid, on the Haile Selassie the first, and then he come back, but he's just a regular man, you know. We don't see him, you know, he's a regular man, you know what I mean? He praised Jesus Christ. And what did Jesus Christ do? <laughs> but anyway, I give thanks for the coronation, man. It's just, just the reality and the beauty. Give thanks for Empress Menin as well, even in such heights. As I said, this, there's a wonderful picture before we go, I would just like to show you here. And, and the heights of this picture, you see the thing is now, there are many pictures eh, with lions bowing down to the emperor. I've, I've, I've highlighted these pictures, there are many pictures. This is just one of them. Look at that, it's a bowing scene. See the man bowing there, the lion bowing too. The lion bowing too. There are many, many, many pictures of the lion bowing to the emperor. You don't see no picture like that nowhere for nobody else. I'm telling you.
You don't have to put religion to that neither. This ain't religion. That's a fact. Thanks to Emperor Haile Selassie the first. So yeah, looking forward to see you tomorrow, even in the first of November, seven p.m. sharp Eastern Caribbean time. You gotta check where you are. Whether you're in Sweden, whether you're in Germany, Australia, New Zealand. Yeah, give thanks. We have a few that have already linked from thus far, you know. And the princess was reminding us that Menelik II was coronated on the third of November, and that is true. We celebrating all of that. Eighteen eighty. 1889, give thanks, honorable princess. Yes, I, so Sunday, the 1st of November, Eastern Caribbean time. So you check your time, align it with us, seven o'clock in the night. <laughs> and of course, all you have to do to get in there is to make your contribution via the Cash App if you have such. If not, just email us and we clarify that that's not a problem at all. Cash App available at Aton Rock. 2723, A-T-O-N-R-A-2723. 27, Very good. Remember, you'll be getting two strongs of the shock of the hour with that contribution. So I'm looking forward to see you at the recording of this video. It would be tomorrow night, depending on when you see it. It might be tonight or it was last night or man, that's since last week, or you're watching this 10 years after. Well, many great things have been done since then, you know. Babylon have fallen and Rastafari has, you know, taken his rightful position in the earth. Yes, give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life. Looking forward to seeing you all. Holy Emmanuel I, Selassie I, Ja Rastafari. Bless the Lord.